Righto, Atelier de Champs and here we have the Dell 27 inch curved gaming monitor S2721HGF. Now that's a mouthful. And as it says in the name, it's a 27 inch gaming monitor. It's a 27 inch curved gaming monitor. I'll just roll off the specs now. 1080p, FreeSync Premium. It does support G-Sync as well, Wolf. Now that's something you only see on usually more expensive monitors and this thing is a bargain. People have been able to pick this up sub 200 US. I've seen some sales on Dell.com, 30% off in Australia and it was like 398 or something with 30% off. So yeah, wow, a pretty good price. But is it any good at that price? Of course, at that sort of price point, you would expect some compromises and there are some compromises. But if you're on an X Xbox or a PS5 and you want some high refresh or you're even on a PC and you have a 60 hertz monitor and you want to get into high refresh rate gaming this does have 144 hertz refresh rate this thing is affordable and it's got good gaming performance now if you have a look at the build quality solid it looks good I like it thin bezels it looks modern go around the back there's a little bit of embellishment with the sort of you know the grill there but um what I like about it is it doesn't have a cover over the IO and by the way it has two HDMI's and one display port and it uh, doesn't really matter what HDMI and display port it is because it's enough to drive the panel of course but they are HDMI 1.4 and display port 1.2 which easily drives full HD 1080p 144 hertz so i like the build quality like it's so easy to put together you'll have it put together in less than a minute once you take it out of the box and i like that it doesn't look like a spaceship or anything like that now when it comes to the panel itself it's a va panel so that's sort of like the compromise in the price point but i will say usually around this price point you would get say a tn panel four milliseconds gray to gray 350 nits I measured about 333, triple Nelson baby, and I measured 96% sRGB. So you could actually use it for color work, but being a 27 incher, if you are close to it, you will see pixels at 1080p, and it does have a curved monitor. So I'm not a fan of curved monitors, especially at 27 inches. Maybe it makes more sense for bigger monitors and for content creation, and stuff like that. You don't want a curved monitor. You want straight lines, right? So this is really targeted at gaming. It's not a really big curve, and some people will love the curve. Some people won't. It's up to you, I guess. Now, this panel does have MPRT, but just turn it off. Don't worry about that. And actually using the on-screen display is really really easy you have the joystick at the back and the four buttons which is a good easy way to control it as i said four millisecond response i just put its overdrive mode in extreme it did feel slow at some of those normal overdrive settings but once you set it to the last two which is like fast and extreme or whatever it is it feels right on it feels bang on nice fast super connected and if you have a look here you can see the 144 hertz ufo in the middle you can see how sharp that is and that is at its extreme mode so that's pretty good not too much overshoot there although there is some so maybe put it to the second last setting but me i always put it to extreme on bigger monitors if i don't personally have it set to extreme on any monitor it just feels slow so anyway all the gaming performance is there there is no speaker in it you only have tilt and height adjustment, so there's no swivel, and it is a matte display. The viewing angles are pretty good, although on a curved monitor, you need to be right in the middle to get the best experience. And yeah, this is a great gaming experience if you're coming from PS5, Xbox, or you're coming from 60 hertz, and you just, you know, you don't want to spend that much money, this is the way to go. The only minuses with this one is, I'm not a fan of the curve personally. You may love it. And also there's no swivel. So the tilt and height. But I don't think that's too much of a big deal considering it's curved. And at this price point, you can't really complain about it. If you can get this for 200 or even, you know, if you're really lucky, sub 200, really, you can't complain. So this is what everybody's talking about. This is where you start. PS5, Xbox, 60 hertz PC gamer. This can be your first budget friendly foray into high refresh gaming and you will enjoy it and you will notice the difference. Stay tuned for some more monitor reviews. I have some, oh, I have another 360 hertz in, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.